Now we'll talk about distributing a negative sign. This negative sign here is applied to this whole group, the 8 plus 2 in parentheses. And if a negative sign is applied to a group, then we can distribute the negative sign. That is, you can apply the negative sign to each term in the group. So the negative sign attaches itself to the 8 and to the 2. So this becomes negative 8 plus negative 2. And we know that's going to be negative 10. And some people think of this as distributing a negative 1 this negative sign can be thought of as a negative 1. In other words, you could think of this as negative 1 times 8 plus 2. So you have this thing multiplied by this group. So the negative 1 gets multiplied by the 8 and by the 2. And so this would be negative 1 times 8 and then the plus and then negative 1 times the 2. And that's the same thing, negative 8 plus negative 2. And we get negative 10. So you can think of it as distributing the negative 1, but I think it's a little bit easier just to think of it like this. Think of it as distributing the negative sign. This negative sign attaches itself to each term in parentheses there and changes the sign. So the positive 8 became a negative 8 and the positive 2 became a negative 2. So when distributing a negative sign, just remember this one concept. A negative sign applied to a group changes the sign, changes the sign, and by sign we mean the positive or negative, changes the sign of each term in the group. Changes the sign of each term in the group. A negative sign applied to a group changes the sign of each term in the group. And as always, we can state this concept in general terms using variables. Let's say negative a plus b for any numbers a and b. That will equal negative a plus negative b, which we could write as negative a minus b. So this a here and this b here inside the parentheses, we can think of those as both positive and this negative sign changes the sign of each of those. We now have a negative a and a negative b. And we could also say this, negative a minus b. This negative sign is going to take this a and change it to negative. So we have a negative a. And this b here, instead of a minus b like we have, when this negative sign applies to that, we get a plus b. So negative a minus b is equal to negative a plus b. But that's what's going on, is this right here. The negative sign applied to the group changes the sign of each term in the group. Let's look at some examples. Negative, and then in parentheses, x plus a minus 3. Well, each of these three things is going to change sign because of this negative sign out front. So the x will become negative, the a will become negative, and the 3, which is currently negative, will become positive. So this will be equal to negative x minus a plus 3. Down here we have four terms in the parentheses. This negative sign will change the sign of each of them. So the negative 2x becomes a positive 2x, the negative 3 becomes a positive 3, the y becomes a negative y and the negative 5 becomes a positive 5. And then we can combine the 3 and the 5 into an 8. So this is going to equal 2x minus y plus 8. Here's a few more examples. We're told to evaluate each of these if a is 7, b is negative 3, and c is 5. So we're given values for these variables. So we're going to plug these values in. a plus b minus c, I'm going to take this and rewrite it, but instead of a, I'm going to write 7, and instead of b, I'll write negative 3, and instead of c, I'll write 5. So this will be 7 plus negative 3 minus, that's my minus sign right there, minus 5. And let's figure out what that is. 7 plus negative 3, that's the same as 7 minus 3, which is 4, 
and then minus 5 gives us negative 1. So negative 1 is the answer. You could also think of this as 7 to the right, and then here we have 3 and 5, both negative, so that's a total of 8 to the left. 7 to the right and 8 to the left, or 7 in the positive direction and 8 in the negative direction, leaves us with a total of 1 in the negative direction. Okay, the next one, negative b plus c. Let's take this negative sign and apply it to each of those terms. So this will be negative b minus c. And now let's put in the numbers. This is negative b, so that's negative negative 3, because b is negative 3. And then we have minus c, and c is 5, so this is minus 5. Now negative negative 3, you can think of this as the opposite of negative 3. Negative negative 3 is just 3, so we have 3 minus 5, this equals negative 2. Okay, this next example, a minus b minus c. We're just going to rewrite this, but put in these values for each of those numbers. a is 7, then we have minus b, and b is negative 3, and then minus c is minus 5. And as before, the minus negative 3 is the same as a plus 3, so this is the same as 7 plus 3 minus 5. And we can do that in our heads. 7 plus 3 is 10, and 10 minus 5 is 5. So 5 is our answer. And then in this last one, it looks very similar. Here we have a minus b minus c, and here we have a minus b minus c. But the b minus c in this case is in parentheses. So this negative sign is going to change the sign of each of these things. So I'm going to keep my a and then this is a minus b, I'll write minus b, but this negative negative c becomes a plus c. So now let's rewrite this, but putting in these values in place of each of the variables. So instead of a, I have 7, so it's 7 minus b, that's minus b, the b is the negative 3, and then plus c and c is 5. So 7 minus negative 3 is the same as 7 plus 3 and then I still have the plus 5 there. So and you can do this in your head. 7 plus 3 is 10 plus 5 is 15.